This is Jacko, and you are watching SS Goshen 4 Dragon Ball Z Collector YouTube channel thingy! Hey guys, it's SS Goshen 4 here with a new video for you guys. Today, I am accompanied by Dinox, my friend Dinox here. Hey everyone, this is Dianzko speaking once again, and yeah, we're both gonna be talking uh, like a debate between Goku and Saitama right, right now. She's gonna say more about Goku, even though I know a lot about the character, but I'm gonna say myself for Saitama. So yeah, I'm happy to have her again, and she's, this is like the fourth video we ever been to together, but it's been like about four years or five almost yeah, since the last time, time we did a video together. So oh, yeah. yeah, I'm really glad to have uh, her back in my show and you know, me in her show as well. So yeah, uh, so how about you get started with this whole thing? Okay, so like he said, this video is basically talking about the comparisons between Goku oh. and Saitama. The comparisons between the two. And um, yeah, there's been a lot. This is almost like the Goku versus Superman kind of thing, honestly. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> I, my personal opinion about this whole thing is that I don't really see the point of comparing the two because they're both very, very, very different characters. Both different powers different ability like just different in general like the, the way they gain their power the way they handle their power and it just i feel like it shouldn't be compared in my opinion so for saitama you know since he has that cape and he has those super punching powers just like superman it's like they're uh since he has those uh qualities it's like they're trying to replace uh superman with saitama now and Saitama's like, you know, pretty much uh, Japan's Superman now, as to Goku was supposed to be. But, you know, Saitama just makes, he looks more like Superman in some ways than Goku, but well, I don't know. True. Maybe some people have actually thought that way. But like, that's yeah. what I thought myself as well. You know, Saitama, you know, he's actually in rank C right now in um, One Punch Man. Well, he actually moved up to rank B in the end of the anime. And after he destroyed that thing, who knows if he goes to rank A or he won't get noticed because not a lot of people notice Saitama. It's the same thing with Goku. Not a lot of people know it's Goku, but instead Hercule gets all the fame. <laughs> but with Saitama, it's the same thing. That, you know, all those uh, Class S uh, heroes get all the fame while Saitama's in the sideline, but he doesn't care. It's just like Goku. So I guess they have that in common as well. But, you know, if Saitama goes in, you know that Saitama's a billion times stronger than all these uh, Class S heroes. And Goku's a million times stronger than Hercule. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna go back, uh, take it back to you, you know, if you wanna put, you wanna say something about this whole thing. Well, um, I wanna ask you what your thoughts are about the whole, like, versus thing. Goku versus Saitama. Oh, Goku would win. Saitama <laughs> would win. That's what I mainly wanna talk about here. Mainly about yeah, how they're, that's like, true. putting them against each other. Just like Goku vs Superman, where it was kind of, it's kind of dumb, honestly, to put them against each other because they're not meant to be put against each other. Um, they're oh, both yeah. heroes, as well as Goku and Saitama, and I feel uh -huh. like if they knew each other, they would be pretty good, probably friends, pretty good friends. I mean, they'd be good uh, training partners, even though um, Saitama is very strong with his one punch. So I wonder if he's stronger than Goku. Um, I know he probably, that he's no he he's no man for beers, but with <laughs> Goku, you know he we do know that Goku can go to Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan Blue in Dragon Ball Super right now, mm -hmm. and with his God form, he could probably match with Saitama, but that's debatable because everyone has different opinions with Saitama. It and is. Saitama, he could breathe in space because he in the very last episode of One Punch Man, he actually went up to the moon when he was finding the last villain, pretty much. And then he went back down to Earth and he he punched like that that main villain. It was not much of a fight because in the get go, Saitama is like so much stronger than the villain. But with Goku, when he faced Beerus, they're like, you know, and they were like equal for a little while, but I think Beerus kind of hold back. So Goku versus Beerus, when that battle happened, Goku uh, was in Super Saiyan God form. But in order for him to do that, he needed to have like uh, five other Saiyans or something like that. Beerus kind of held back, but it seemed like they were both like equally matched. But you know, obviously Beerus is a lot more stronger. And then we go to Saitama versus the final villain of the entire series, which was pretty much the last episode of One Punch Man. It did took him more than one punch to beat him, but he did realize that Saitama was actually so much more stronger than him because of his hidden potential inside. 
and he powered up a little bit more. So Saitama actually was in the move, so moon, so he was actually breathing up there, and then he was able to charge back to Earth really quick. I'm not sure if Goku is able to do that because if you remember Goku versus Frieza, when Frieza Frieza says that if he destroys the planet, he could breathe in space, but Goku cannot. But mm -hmm. for some reason, Goku versus Beerus, Goku could breathe in space right now. Well, you know, Dragon Ball. God. Dragon Ball has so many inconsistencies, so, so you know. <laughs> I know, it, it just didn't make sense to me, but at the same time, like, does it require to be a Super Saiyan God form in order for Goku to breathe in space? Because as a regular Super Saiyan, he probably cannot. Yeah, right. We know that Frieza could, and, and Saitama, it looks like he could breathe in space. So, you know, if the only way Goku could match Saitama in space is if he was actually Super Saiyan God for some reason. Or Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue, or whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. So yeah, what is your debate on Goku versus Saitama yourself? Well, I mean, like I said, uh, it's kind of hard to compare, you know, with Goku because you don't know how strong these villains are, one, compared to the ones in Dragon Ball. So how do you know how strong he really is? I mean, the thing about True. space, it can be just an ability that he has or he somehow, I don't know how he could have trained to get that ability though because it, then you just do a hundred sit-ups and a hundred push-ups to get that's what he power. said so like you say he, he just says. do regular stuff he just but do yeah he can stuff in order to get his power so that i don't really know sense. exactly so um well comparing like those villains to dragon ball villains you don't really know so how can you really tell how strong his punch is you know yeah that's true because like i saw a picture from somebody in my anime group uh, Saitama could punch a big rock with his strongest punch, but yet, you know, I, even though it's not Goku, we're talking about Beerus, he could destroy half the planet with one finger. With Goku, I'm pretty sure he could punch, he could destroy the whole planet with his strongest blast, but that's mm -hmm. still the debatable. Can Saitama actually destroy the entire world? Exactly. But with that's, one punch? That's why it's hard to even say at this point if he is stronger than Goku. But I just think the whole debate in general is silly because it's just... I don't know, I feel like it's kind of like a waste of time. Like, why why are people doing that? Why are people comparing They portray to? him as in, as invisible. Like, he, like he's invisible. Like, all the Class S hero has trouble with this one monster and Saitama at one punch. He, uh, he punched so hard that he cancels rain, rain pretty much. Uh. And you know... <laughs> And he could and he could cancel the sky. Well, Frieza could do that too, but you know. <laughs> yeah. And I'm pretty sure Goku could most likely do it now with his Super Saiyan God form. If Frieza could do it back in Namek, so huh. I'm pretty sure Goku could punch uh, to cancel rain as well because Frieza could cancel the sky when he powers up. So imagine so much more stronger now. Imagine Goku versus Saitama versus Superman. <laughs> imagine that one. Who would win that one? I have no idea. A lot oh. of people will say Goku, some will say Saitama, and some will say Superman. And a lot of people will compare Saitama with not only Goku, but with people... You probably don't know these anime. Have you heard of Assassination Classroom and Madaka Box? No, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Basically, the main characters of those who show, um, Koro Sensei and Madaka, they're, they're being portrayed as invisible in God, God mode. So those type of people, Medaka Kurokami and Koro Sensei can also match Saitama, not just Goku. And Goku just achieved God form recently, so he's just getting the hang of um, you know his new power. As for Koro Sensei, Medaka, and maybe Saitama as well. I even though Saitama's not really portrayed as a god, but invisible and invisible hero, you could say. Yeah, uh, they already they kind of got used to their powers in some ways already. But it's really hard to debate because it could be any way around. It's, mm -hmm. it's hard to compare, uh, uh, do a perfect comparison between those two. Yeah, it's but true yeah. though. And we probably have to see more of one, one Punch Man, like, to see, to really see how strong he is. Which I think he is very, very strong for what I've seen, very powerful. I mean, he can do so much with one punch, so... <laughs> and he doesn't really need any blasts or key attacks or anything, yeah, he can beat some some big-ass villain's ass with one punch. So yeah, that says punch. a lot. That says a lot right there. So. And Goku took so much more than just one punch to beat a villain, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. Well, Saitama just one punch, done, pretty much. 
But in the end, I feel like the two, I mean, you can't really say too much on how to compare the two. One, um, I don't it's gonna think... It's going to be a death battle on them. Yep, I think eventually. so. Eventually. Uh, eventually. It's too popular already for it to be passed by. Two, I think they shouldn't be compared in the first place because they're not meant to. Because they're both heroes, they both do the same kind of thing. And um, I feel like they would probably be friends if they were actually they actually met and they would be a challenge for each other. <laughs> Yeah, who knows? Maybe, you know, Saitama and Goku beats and maybe, you know, like Frieza or or Champa and a few other villains from One Punch Man teams up against Goku and Saitama and then they're most likely going to team up. They did a collaboration with Go uh, Dragon Ball Z, One Piece, and Toriko and they worked together. But there was mm -hmm, a, like that. a tournament thing that all three of them were like facing each other but there was no clear winner. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you know, you probably know One Piece. Oh, yeah, Luffy. of course, of course. Yeah. But Toriko, you probably don't know. But No, I know, saw I saw this little thing, the short, yeah. So. Oh, okay, you did? Yeah. Okay, so you know that um, th the fight was never concluded. Yeah, at the end. It was, like a, it was like a, yeah, like a um, question mark. I left you with a question mark. But, um, exactly. So what are your no final thoughts? Face, so. what, are, what, what are your final thoughts? My final thoughts on this thing that honestly you can't really compare the two directly because there's still not enough evidence mm -hmm. uh, on comparing Goku and Saitama. I mean you could get like speculation, you could make a lot of debates on what they could do and stuff. But you know the only way that we're gonna know for sure who's stronger is if both the creator of Dragon Ball Z Akira Toriyama and the creator of Mold Punch Man do a collaboration enemy right. and then they fight against each other and then you know they do all those explanation how they fight and what Saitama can do, what Goku can do. Yeah. So yeah, what is your final thoughts on this thing? Well, I kind of already said it, but um, that yeah, um, you, there's not really any way to compare at this point. I mean, uh, yeah, I true. think Goku's power is kind of um, endless as far as he always gets powerful like throughout every, every enemy, battle. Every, yeah, every enemy, every he gets battle. injured, and exactly. he gets stronger when he heals. And Just like with the thing is, it's hard to say because we haven't seen everything. I mean, so far we've seen what we've seen of One Punch Man and Saitama, but there's going to be more. I mean, obviously there's going to be more. A new, a new season, season exactly. One Punch so Man, so that's, why, that's why we can't really say, you know? We can't really say if he has a limit. Does he have a limit? Um, can he get more powerful? Um, that's the thing. We don't really know. That's so, up in the air. so that's why it's hard to even compare. That's why I think it's dumb that... I mean, there are like comparisons like that, and you know, when there's not enough information. And like I said, I don't think they should be compared because they're they're both heroes, and you know, they are different in their own ways, but have their similarities. I think it's silly, <laughs> just like the yeah. Goku versus Superman thing. They're, it's silly, you know. They're and yet, so many people compare them. Even you know, Death Battle has compared them, and then oh, Superman actually beat Goku and stuff like that. But you remember, they're not the creators of, yeah, exactly. of the character that made this. But yeah, so that's really it. That's my thoughts. Um, uh, maybe, maybe in the future we will see. We might do a follow up. I don't know. But this is where it stands as of right now. So hope you enjoyed this video where um, we are talking about these two heroes here, very popular heroes now. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, I would like to tell you guys a little bit about or let him tell you about his channel okay well my youtube channel is dinox series or you could search me on the link uh at by dinox Kun returns but i changed it to dinox series i mainly do like on um, some game reviews tech reviews rants um nintendo related news sometimes i do amiibo talks sometimes i even do like podcasts but yeah i do all sorts of videos like that um anything related to video games and I'm also trying to promote things that are really good but almost nobody knows about as well and I'm also doing like a history of my channel because I've been making videos back in 2008 so if you are curious to find out more about me and what I do yeah you could watch some of my videos at the Ask series or the Ask Who returns so yeah I hope that you liked this video and yeah, I'm looking forward to what you guys think about this whole debate that we just talked about as well. And this will also up. be uploaded my channel as well after mm -hmm. hers. Right. So I'm going to be looking forward to that. And I definitely want to know what you guys think about this whole discussion thing. 
One Punch Man is it's a really good anime from what I've seen. Like it really is good. So um, I like I like them both. I like Goku and Saitama. So. You like him equally? You don't like Goku more than Saitama? Well, Goku, I mean, come on, he's he's my hero. He's, he's my legendary. Hero, and he is, you know, the one in my heart always. But anyways, but I like Saitama too. He's cool. <laughs> so, Dragon Ball Z is the first anime I ever watched in my life. Exactly. I love it, it got me into anime. I'm pretty sure the same with you. Oh, well, I, I just love Dragon Ball, obviously. I mean, so. Yeah, <laughs> your whole room is dedicated to Dragon Ball. <laughs> my whole channel. <laughs> I see anyways. like 10 things Dragon Ball in your background. <laughs> Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed this video, and until my next one, peace. Take care, God bless, and stay cool. Bye-bye.